This is Miriam Nache on What's Making News this Friday. Today marks the day that the Toronto Police's youngest recruit turns one year old. The AI program named Sherlock specialized in solving specific cases through texts. Sherlock, also known as the Intextigator on social media, has already helped close some high-profile cases. This includes the David Brown case that was unsolved for over five years and catching a serial killer that targeted women. However, despite the growing popularity, the chatbot also opens up several questions. How much power should we be giving machines? Will the benefits of using such gizmos outweigh the can of worms that it will inevitably open? We opened the gallery a couple years ago. We don't have a lot of art pieces on display at the moment. The painting that was stolen is on loan for a few months. It is by Maria Petroskin, an artist from Lithuania. It's one of the best ones we have here. This one here, it's so beautiful. It's about Drowning despair in an ocean of happiness. I've never heard that interpretation before. I see it more as staying afloat in turbulent times. But of course it's art. It's subjective. You have a vivid imagination, Miss Strait. My dad used to paint a bit. I grew up trying to figure out many of his abstract works. I see. So, um, this AI program, how does it work? So we'll be uploading all the info we collect, including pictures, into Sherlock's database. Anyone from the general public can also message the number if they have helpful information. So you'll also be texting with the AI, answering any questions that it might have. It has its own approach of solving cases. In the painting, you you will be able to get it back, right? Don't worry. We'll do our very best in whatever it takes to get it back. Thank you. This is my place. Pain. 
painting was at the exhibition room, last seen on Saturday. Gallery closed for the weekend. CCTV footage shows that it was stolen around 11.45 p.m. Sunday. Robber wore a mask, making it difficult to track their identity. Automatic security alarm goes off at the same time, and the noise alerts people nearby who called 911. I need some more time. Just give me a few more minutes. Mr. Goldberg, what are some of the security features of the gallery? Well, we have a security alarm in place, which will go off if an intruder tries to come in and remove something from the gallery, which is what happened here. We also have a few closed circuit television cameras in place. We'd have more, but we didn't want too many batteries in the gallery in case the acid leaked. Cameras only give you a record of the theft anyways. And the painting, the, the silent witness, how much would you say it is worth? Art valuation is not an exact science. The artist, it's history, condition, the demand, it can all affect it. The silent witness, that is very difficult to say. And Maria Petroskin, the artist, is she in Toronto at the moment? Has she been notified? She's in England right now. Yes, she was notified immediately after we found out. I see. We'll reach out to her as well. Um, so I've been asked to text the AI next. How do I communicate with it? Just think of it as texting a person. Tell it the exact same thing that you told me. You wouldn't even notice the difference. The silent witness is all about the idea that there is no such thing as a true vacuum devoid of watching eyes. God, GPSs, cell phones, everything is watching you. Even the robber who took the painting is proving my point. Didn't you say he was seen by the CCTV's eyes? When was the last time you visited the gallery? It was for the unveiling of my painting back in January. Have there been any other robbery attempts in the past on any of your artworks? No. This was the first attempt to pluck a flower from my garden. Thank you, Mrs. Petroskin. We'll do our best and keep you updated on any developments. Thank you, Detective. And don't worry. My flower will return to the garden. It must be its kismet.
You must be Paul Wilson, the gallery director. Mr. Wilson, I've been meaning to ask you, what are the duties of each of the roles in the art gallery? Sam is the gallery owner. He's the boss. He's in charge of everything. What agents we represent, scheduling, all that stuff. I'm the director. I'm his right-hand man. I also have a major share in the gallery. I make sure everything runs smoothly behind the scenes. Can I get your coffee? No, that's okay. There's also Edwin, the curator. He's in charge of how we display our art in public. Also, how it fits into the art world. <laughs> I mean, leave it to the artists to make simple things complicated. That's a lot of roles for one person. Being in a new gallery, you have to wear many hats in this industry. I mean, I'm a hustler, Mrs. Strait, plain and simple. From IT to marketing, I've seen it all my lifetime. The CCTV footage, we were told it wasn't working a few days prior to the incident. Yeah, it works in and out. I mean, it wasn't working Friday. I came in Saturday to fix it, just in time to record the heist on Sunday. Does that happen often? The camera's failing like that? Now and then. I mean, you can't really rely on technology, can you? Maria Petrovsky. She's a very talented artist. Not only is her work beautiful, but it creates a social conversation as well. We're very lucky to have this painting here. You're the curator of the gallery. I understand that part of that is deciding how to display the art? <laughs> yes, the uh, medium is the message, how they say. You see, how we display the art has a say in how people feel. So for uh, Silent Witness, I hung it at eye level so people could stare at it. Also, slightly hid it so they see it when they don't expect. It shows that uh, you're being watched, sometimes even when you don't know you're being watched. You don't know you're being watched. Everything is watching you. What is that song? And where is it coming from? Oh, that is the uh, Earth song. It is specifically made for the gallery. We said to play at random times for ambience. I selected it uh, as a tribute to the arts. It must get a tad repetitive hearing the same song over and over again, I'm guessing. Yeah, slightly. But there are uh, seven different versions of it, one for every day of the week. It's um, ambient for the customers. They, they seem to like it. Thank you, Mr. Crooks. Uh, you're welcome. But there are uh, seven different versions of it, one for every day of the week. It was stolen around 11.45 p.m. Sunday. It was a Friday? Uh... 
When was the last time you saw the painting? Friday night, before I left the gallery. Friday it was Friday, night, Friday, before I left the right gallery. Before we closed. The gallery. Saturday, when I came in to fix the CCTV cameras. I managed the finance, the security, and the public relations of the gallery. I'm a hustler, Mrs. Strait. I'm a hustler, I'm a hustler, Mrs. Strait. I'm a hustler, Mrs. Strait. Let's go.